A sea of green. Dow up 400. Nasdaq up 173. That's a rally. Keith Fitz joining us this morning. I've got three stocks that you like with high target prices. First of all, you've got Tesla. You think it's going to 421. It's 362 now. Make your case. 421 27 oh. actually don't oh. forget those extra 27 cents well, well, i'll take it <laughs> okay so ai robotics cars this thing goes way beyond vehicles it's now the information and the pivot is very similar to apple in 2014 when it launched services so i think we're looking at hundreds of millions billions of dollars as all of that information is meshed together and that puts it at 421 my goodness me okay Palantir, you've loved it for a long time. It's currently, I think, about 67. Yes, it is. You think, when do you think it hits 100? Uh, you know, I think we're going to, I originally said three to five years after it tags, takes out 80, but I think we might even be there by mid next year at the latest. This thing is a monster. Nobody else has got a product like it. It's meshing data software that makes software work. Every legacy provider on the planet right now, Stuart, is in trouble. This might be the next Cisco, might be the next Oracle, might be the next SAP, and it's important people start thinking that way. Good Lord. Lockheed Martin. You think that's going to $600 next year? Well, I guess there's wars breaking out all over. I can see your rationale for that. But $600 next year for Lockheed Martin? Well, here's the thing, right? Russia just, if this is true, they just use the hypersonic. This Lockheed Martin is going to be the company that helps defend against that. Plus, they are also, not surprisingly, involved in AI and the way you use def defense data for our war fighters in keeping this nation safe. It's a short week. It's Thanksgiving Thursday, of course, and the market reopens on Friday. Do you think there's anything special about a short week, a time to buy maybe? There is, and here's why, is historically traders and, and buyers have walked away. So you could drive a truck through the spreads. Computerization has changed that, which means that all of these institutions that have been on the wrong side of the field for the last six months have got to catch up. I think this might be the week where that starts. Today is certainly an indication that somebody's buying. Is this the Besant rally, what we're seeing today? You know, I, I'm hesitant to put that tag on it. I think it's more like all the institutions don't want to face uncomfortable questions from their clients when the year-end statements are printed. And they say, hey, why don't we have Palantir? Why don't we have more Tesla? That's what I think is going on. <laughs> that puts them in a bind, doesn't it? Keith Fitz, thanks for joining us. You have a great Thanksgiving.